honest, we've kind of done more Yu-Gi-Oh! discussing, and I'm not even, like, forcing this. We've done more Yu-Gi-Oh! discussing on this stream than we have probably in weeks. So this isn't even the stream to be like, well, you don't even do Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, bruh, what do you mean? Like, this is literally, this is, this is legit Yu-Gi-Oh! If this ain't good enough, like, I don't know what the fuck you want. So there you go. Dark Emperor, oh, thank you very much, Spider Lord 8678 coming through with the Twitch Prime resubscription. 35 months in a row, almost three full years of grown ass manliness. I appreciate that, sir. Almost three years. That's what I'm talking about. Um, can you explain why Colossus should come back? Because um, I don't think that card can come back. I assume you mean can come back. Um, okay, so with Thunder Dragon Colossus, my my biggest my biggest issue with Thunder Dragon Col uh, Colossus is I don't really like I get searching is a very big part of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Um, I I said this when Colossus got banned that Thunder Dragon would no longer have a win condition. Lo and behold, I think that that's been pretty accurate, chat. Thunder Dragon has not really sniffed the meta since that deck fell out of favor. Now. The, 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 the one deck, the little mashup deck where you're running Light Swarms and Dragons and all that shit. I think that deck's kind of cute. But it's not really... I would not consider that to be Thunder. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying Colossus is not strong. Because it is a strong card. It's like a much better uh, Thunder Dragon Ryo. Or Thun Thunder Dragon. It's like a better version of Thunder King Ryo. Except it doesn't stop in here at Summons. But it can protect itself from like Lightning Storm and shit. So that's kind of cool. But I honestly just think Thunder, and with one, I, I don't really think Thunder become that great of a deck, honestly. Droll is better than Colossus, and um, technically every deck can run Droll too. Um, there was a part, there was a point chat where I thought that it could be problematic. What's that one Nemesis card chat that you can like activate from the hand and it, it allows like every deck to make a Colossus essentially? I thought that that could kind of be problematic, but that's, to me, that's one of those things where like, bring back Colossus, um... Is it Corridor? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, to me, it's like... To, to me, even though that card exists, I think it's like, bring back bring back Colossus and see if that happens. Because sometimes you need to see, like... Does the problem actually amount? Because, you know, there, there was like a hot second where we all thought, you know, bringing back the little Buster Blader dude was going to be, like, super problematic and every Dragon deck was going to use it and it would be the same thing. But then they didn't do it anymore. You know, or didn't they... They, like, they like, didn't do that combo. So sometimes it's like, all right, well, if this problem does manifest itself, then maybe we can like, you know, uh, we can deal with it. But honestly, I just feel like Thunder Dragon doesn't have a win condition at all. Uh, I don't care how many copies of Titan you have. It's just not good. Um, and I feel like, uh, are we really running a four card Nemesis engine for Colossus? Probably not. Um, unless you can, I mean, well, yeah, probably not. Because it has to act, it has to use a hand effect first. It's not like you can just go a circuit or something like that. Um, I, I feel like Thunder Dragons were unfairly kind of thrown out as a deck. When Konami hit all of those cards, chat, uh, I thought the other decks maybe could still play, but I thought Thunder, like, I thought that deck was just fucking toast. Lo and behold, all, all four of the decks became toast. I, I think Salaman Great maybe held up the best of those four, um, decks. Orcus, Striker, Thunder, and, um, Orcus, Thunder, Striker, Salaman Great. Yeah, I, I, I guess... Salamander Great probably held up the best with its one banned card, but to me, I just think like give Thunder their their card back so they can at least be somewhat of a viable deck because they're just not viable right now. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna read the chat and then I'll do what's it called. Is Corridor searchable? I don't, I don't think so. Like maybe in some weird Nemesis deck. You can target one of your banished monsters except Nemesis Corridor. Special summon this card from your hand if you do shuffle that card back. Nemesis Flag. Yeah, if you're if you're playing like other Nemesis cards, probably. But like, I mean, if you're gonna play a Nemesis deck like more, and, and you want to summon Colossus, like more fucking power to you. You're playing a Nemesis deck. You deserve it. Um, Colossus is like Dark Law, Floodgate. Um, just to the opponents and the win condition of the deck. I agree. It would be like it'd be like if if you ban Dark Law, 
Like heroes just, just fucking die. You know, like if you if you ban the if you ban the, the deck's best disruptive card, if you ban the card that like it slows down the opponent the most, you basically just cripple the deck to the point. Hey, Pog! I want I want to see this. You 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 hit the deck to the point where like it can't really do anything. Unless we want to turn Thunder Dragons into like some weird deck that plays a bunch of like trap cards, you know? Oh my God! It's, for a second, I thought he was playing like scraps. I want to I want to see this. Is Dino Scraps good? Um, do I like dangers? Wait, wait, wait. Boonk says... Boonk, are you asking me what I what I like if dangers went back to three? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I, so... If you're asking me what I like dangers back at three, no. The, the problem with dangers is... Or the issue with dangers is, I think... But Droll? I mean, yeah, but like... Do you wanna, do you wanna have Droll be the card... Do you want do you want to have Droll be the card that like becomes mandatory to save a format? Basically, like do you want to create this situation where like oh baby, every deck like has to play fucking Droll. You know what I mean? Um The problem with Droll are like dangers become problematic the higher numbers they are they're they're allowed in. Excuse me, you mean like Max C? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess you could say that. Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Droll being the card means... Or Droll being the card means the format sucks. People have said that in the past. Um, yeah, Chad, I, I personally believe that dangers become incredibly problematic the higher numbers they are. Because, like, when you can just go danger, 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 danger like... I'm not saying you end, like you have endless amounts of cards, but it feels it feels like you're allowed to kind of freely extend upon uh, or freely extend uh, monsters on the field. And we all know that there are a, a billion cards in Yu-Gi-Oh chat that allow you to um, activate effects in the graveyard. There's a lot of cards that when you discard them, they hit the graveyard, and it's like, oh, I get an effect, I get a search, I get to do this, like. No, da dangers. The biggest issue with dangers, Chad, is like having them at like high numbers. You know what I mean? Like dangers are actually, it, it, and it's a it's a whole archetype like that. You know what I mean? So, it's it's a little bit of the malicious effect, I guess you could say. The higher the number of the card, like kind of the more problematic it is. From a quick search, um, searches for. Win the Wind Charmer and Thunder Dragon Fusion. Yes, yeah, I mean that. That's fine though. Like, people probably not gonna play this. And if you're playing Thunder Dragon Fusion, then you're probably already playing Thunder Dragons, which which is where you're gonna summon Colossus anyways. So, yeah, I mean, I I just I don't think Colossus is like. I don't know, chat. That, that that ban list just still has a bad taste in my mouth. That that ban list, that ban list, chat. You guys know that ban list was just to end that that kind of era of Yu-Gi-Oh or format or whatever eternal format, whatever you want to call that. The main thing about that ban list was really just to to end that shit, so that so Konami could like cycle some new decks in, because they know like Sky Striker was never going to go away, unless Konami made an archetype. Of like fucking Imperial Orders or something or spell cancelers. Like Sky Striker was never going away. Jerome was just following orders. Probably yeah, probably. I, I don't think that was like a ban list where they where they they made they were like, hey, we gotta just hit the most powerful. But nah, they were like, look, we need to sell new shit. We need to get these decks out of the game so we can like funnel in some new stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do believe that that ha it doesn't happen, like, super often, but, like, that was an example of when it did happen, in my opinion. Do I ever think Slash Draw can come back to three? No, I, I think Slash Draw is a... 
if, if, if I'm thinking of the, the right card, I, Slash Draw is one of those cards that I, I honestly don't really think, like, they should have made. Um, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong card. Because if I'm not mistaken, Slash Draw, Slash Draw at 1 is, like, pointless. Slash draw, discard. Some cards from the top of your deck equals equals to call. Trying to control, spin draw. If it was slash draw, send it to graveyard. Yes, you do destroy it. Yeah, this card is just okay. So yeah, slash draw at one means you can never resolve the effect, right? I get that, but like, I just don't get that. Like, why would why would they make the card so powerful? chat so when slash draw is if you hit another slash draw you blow up your opponent's entire field and then you inflict 2,000 damage for each card like what <laughs> why would you why would you why would you make it like that powerful where you could just win the game like oh I popped three cards 6,000 damage it's to recycle your graveyard like I I don't this card is like too gay it's like it's like relay soul this card is like insanely gimme. I'm, I'm not a fan of Slash Draw, honestly. Uh, granted, I don't I don't like it at at one. It's a stupid anime card. Agreed. Like it feels it feels like a card that Yugi played or some shit like that. Um, it didn't take into account Saryuja. I mean, definitely because the, the card's probably from like DM or some shit like that, right? Um, but I don't know. I I feel like they should they. I feel like they were just better off not printing it. If it, if it was going to be something of that nature where it's like, all right, this card's going to be so problematic, like, just don't even print it. Or, nah, I, I guess I guess the better the better way of addressing it is, is just hitting it. You know what I mean? It's like GX. Like super polymerization. No problems with super poly chat. Not every card in Yu-Gi-Oh has to be respondable. Super poly is cool. Supreme King used this. What's up, Dragon Quest fan? Am I up for a match? Uh, not today, sir. Not today. But I'm sure there are other people in my stream who will duel you. Like, there's this guy named Prince of Blood. He's always down to play. <laughs> you got shot. You guys don't need to be all... Oh, every every time you ask Cat to duel, you gotta have $25. Now, there, there are tons of people who are what's it called. Yeah, see, Boonk, Boonk has just challenged you to a duel. So there you guys go. You can duel against Boonk. You know what I mean? Yeah, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, more fun than than playing than playing the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game for me at least. Currently, will that change in the future? I'm sure it will, chat. 